Systems are like training wheels for a bike. Get rid of them as soon as possible. Then you have the stigma. Pfft, you're just a beginner. Lastly, my two favorites, your system sucks or don't use one at all. Do not ditch your system unless it looks like that scope I mounted to the queue. I truly believe systems offer a well-rounded approach toward improvement. So when does a system no longer look like a system? Is the only answer when I quit using it? I'll let you decide while watching this rack of nine that I filmed during some pure training. I use aiming systems for almost every shot. I use Poology by Brian Christ and for kicking, I use Zero X by Tor Lowry. Both are highly math based with a lot of memorization involved. Okay, remember pure, no spin, and I hope you can tell the confidence this aiming system gives me at the table. So we break and we make the four in the upper left hand corner and the one ball sits next to the uh, right side pocket, and you'll see that it has to be a kick shot. So I immediately figure out my pocket track, which is 12.5 and 25. You'll see here, I look down and get my long rail value when I walk by, long rail value of 15. 15 subtracted from 25 is 10, divided by two is five. That provides me my kick location on the short rail, which I show right here. I All I have to focus on now is hitting that point, controlling the speed, and hitting the one thin to make sure that I can get down for that too. Excellent. Thank you, Zero X and Tor Lowry. For this too, I do not use an aiming system. I'll use a contact point to position the cue ball for the next shot, okay? That's uh, that's how I play this. So I look, with no spin, I can't come around and get down at this end, okay? So I have to go back and forth. So I evaluated my three ball position and that I could make it down here. And that position out of zone C is the 78. Stroke is everything here. I have to follow through to get shape on that three. We kill the speed off the rail and get good shape. Position value of 78, alignment value of 18. Four things here. Q to object ball distance, cut, induce, throw. Q speed and getting across the shot line for the five. This math equated to a three quarter, but I had to shoot a five eighths to get all that to happen. The 5 is sitting in a position value of 30, alignment value of 4, a 7 eighths fractional aim, which is one half tip left of center. Now the important thing here is stroke is everything. You would normally draw and come across and get down for that 6, but I have to slide it since we can't put any additional spin on it. Okay, I have the position value already in my head on that 6, which is a 22. And the main thing is, is when I come off that six, I have to move that eight down toward the end pocket to get shape on it after the seven. So my alignment value that I start pointing out to you guys so you kind of know what's going on is 13, making this a three eighths fractional shot, okay? And we make this shot nicely. Speed is key. I have to push the eight. And we turn it over about one revolution, which is perfect. Now I'm on that seven down here in the corner. Seven sitting at a 50 with a five alignment value. Another seven eight shot just under, actually just a little straighter. But I shoot a seven eights and I want you to see how nicely it pockets. Perfect. Now I walk by again, I apologize. I'm not used to pointing this out. So I show you guys the position value of the eight is in zone A at a 20, my alignment value right there is a 15, Give us, uh, gives us a perfect fractional uh, aim point of the quarter fractional aim. And I play a Z on this and I come back across for that uh, nine, which is gonna be a side pocket shot. That zone has changed or revised its alignment values. Make sure you get that. This shot is almost straight, but I still need to clear the pocket point. I'll use a 30 second aim point equal to the alignment value of almost one diamond, aiming one quarter of one half tip or 
one and three quarter millimeters right of center. And you can see we draw it right in there. By any chance, did you guys notice the cue I was using and the fact that it did not have a ferrule or a tip? Leave me a comment. Well, that was the aiming systems I used, Zero X and Puology at full speed. Could you tell that I was using aiming systems before I started to point out the values? The shot descriptions are quite literally what is processing in my head as I move around the table, numbers and all. I have no intention of ditching my aiming systems. I hope this has inspired and motivated you to dig a little deeper into the game of pool.